All right, let's try this again, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, um, I had my Pandora on, and for, and I was thinking because normally, whenever I um, whenever I do anything, I there you are. Okay. <laughs> All right, but anyway, whenever I, I, I do any kind of a video or anything, and I'm listening to Pandora or whatever I'm doing, it always cuts the music off, and for some reason, it didn't cut the music off, and so I was making a video with the music going, and I was thinking, oh, well, it's going to, um, um, y'all going to be able to hear the music and not... What I'm saying, not that I'm saying anything that's, yeah. Anyway, I was just going to show y'all these little pacifiers, okay? So, y'all know I've made these for like years and years and years. I'm sitting, oh, by the way, I'm sitting out here in my car. I know just about every time I make one of these videos, I'm in my car waiting on hubby. He's, yeah, he has to go over here once a month, so, and I always have to go because we never know when he's going to need a driver, so I go just because. Anyway. But these little pacifiers, I made, I've made these for years now. Well, about two years. And I came up with a new idea with them. Okay, so this is, I made the, these just, I don't know, a few months ago, I guess. And look how crisp and clean the edges are on this. Okay, well, then this is one that I did just a few days ago and look at that and I don't know and I've tried everything so I don't know what I did I guess I'm just losing my mind <laughs> I don't know what I did but and I mean it's not bad it's it's not bad because the end result is I love how these turned out and because before I was taking like just an ordinary piece of ribbon and going tying it off kind of and going through a buttonhole what did I do with my but I done lost my button okay there it is <laughs> I know it's been one of the mornings anyway but I finally figured out how to put the magnet inside of my fabric and then sew it together because before oh my gosh it was a headache it was a headache because um, I would start out with like this right here and this is just regular fabric and then I would have to put the mat you know cut a slit put the magnet inside glue it sew it it was a headache so I finally figured out how to do it and so that's what I'm kind of working on now but I was gonna show y'all um, the end on how I, I, I started doing it because now I'm braiding the ribbon y'all that know me know I like my my babies and anything associated with my babies I like them to be as realistic as can be and the one thing that um, reason that I started doing the these cloth pacifiers is because I would go everywhere and I like to color coordinate okay so if my babies is God forbid wearing green <laughs> I hate green okay <laughs> all right let's just say they're wearing maroon okay plum whatever whatever you want to call this okay and I would go everywhere looking for that color you're not gonna find that color I'm sorry it, it's not gonna happen okay so and during the holidays you can find certain colors but it's it's really tedious okay cuz like around this time of the year like around fall and all that you can find um, orange okay but you can't find it normally through the rest of the year so I was just I was getting aggravated because I couldn't find the colors that I wanted so I was like okay well let me try to design something so I took one of my pacifiers and I traced it and the first one I made and I thought I had a template in there I guess I don't but the first one that I made um, I just did it on my basic sewing machine and which I liked it it served the purpose that I was looking for it was 
cute as a button and but you know every time you make something you want to um, you know get better at it and you know figure out the better way of doing things so I came up with and then on top of that hubby <laughs> he got me my new uh, embroidery machine I love that thing you know before I left uh, not to get sidetracked but before I was working <laughs> One, two more of these, and now um, I designed a um, my um, for my hoop and my my digitizing to where I can do these on my embroidery machine. Well, anyway, and before I left the house, I was doing it, and Joey was like, "Come on, honey, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go." Normally, I'm the one that's saying it, but I just thought he was gonna take his time like he normally does, and so I was in there on my embroidery machine. And before I left, I said, Emily, which is my baby girl. And I said, Emily, I'm still sewing in there. So in a few minutes, just walk in there. And um, if, it, if it's finished, just turn my machine off, cover it up, and then turn my lights out. And she's like, okay, mama. <laughs> that girl don't know anything about sewing. Nothing. Nothing. None of my kids do. None of, uh, it, and that's so sad. That's so sad because I wish I had just one of them that liked doing my stuff because you would not believe all the craft stuff that I have that, you know, one day when, when you know, I can't do this anymore or, you know, when it's my time to go, I don't have anybody to leave this stuff to. And we're talking, I have a full room full of stuff. But anyway, hopefully, and, you know, prayerfully, that'll be a long time away. But anyway, okay, so, um, back to this. Hold on, I got a snag here. This is driving me nuts. All right, so, anyway, I, start, I started braiding my ribbon, okay? And I start out with a piece like this, okay? And it's just... You know, you can crochet it, you can braid it, whatever. But this is how it it is, all right? And then I sew it on. Now, remember, I've got my magnet on the inside. So, let's see. See, it's, it's on the inside already, okay? Then I've got my button. And it's going to wind up looking like that, all right? But... And I'm loving this look, y'all. I am just saying, I am really loving this look. But anyway, and it doesn't take me that long, but someone had asked me if I was gonna um, start selling these, and which I will. I just, you know, I haven't really had the time to, I've got some made up. I just haven't had the time to list them or anything else. Lordy with the two-year-old running around and everything else. And we've got uh, my mother-in-law now staying with us. And my mom is still, you know, she's she's in the senior living home. So I've got a lot on my plate. But anyway, but yeah, I'll start selling them. I will. I'll, you know, figure something up and come up with a listing. I don't know. But, um... Anyway, these is just darling. I love the look of these. But, and anytime I can figure out an easier way of doing something, that's what's gonna happen. So, I think this is gonna be my last template on doing these because I'm really sad. The only other thing that I do wanna figure out is how I got these edges so, so sharp. I can't remember, I don't know, maybe I did this on the, my regular sewing machine if I did that's really some good work <laughs> I don't think I did no this is this is for my embroidery machine I can look at that the little duma hitchies on the sides here where you know it's supposed to you know mimic the holes in the pacifier but um, anyway yeah um, but whenever I make these I do I sent them to my friend because she always, she does these live videos a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And she'll, you know, she kind of shows them with her babies because she does, she makes, um, and I'm talking about Sunny, y'all. 
Sunny Hickey. Um, and she makes um, reborns and cloth babies. So she does both. And she just, she absolutely loves it. And I love her work. I, I think it's cute. But, um, and she sent me one of them, the, the reborns. And I swear that thing ain't but 12 inches maybe. I don't know. It's a tiny, it's like one of the micro preemies. And it's cute, cute. But anyway, she, um, she always does me a, a shout out on my pacifiers. And I've had a couple of people ask, you know, if I sold them or whatever. And I'm like, well, I'll make them. <laughs> I just have it, you know. And, um, but I'll start, um, I'll do a listing pretty soon. Pretty soon, you know, when I'm not so busy. And, um, but anyway, it's just a, you know, it's just an idea that I came up with on these. And, um, you know, every time I do a video and I, I'm talking about this thread, it's an upholstery thread, and I absolutely love it. And every time I have mentioned it, I've always said, and I, as much as I have um, this, I pull and tug on this, I've never broken my strand. I did the other day. I broke it. I pulled so hard that I broke it. But I pull so hard that it actually cuts little slits in my fingers, you know. And my husband has told me, Joey, he's like, you know, honey, you ought to just wear Band-Aids whenever you're doing that, and it will save you some pain. And I'm like, well, I just don't think of stuff like that before I start sewing. But anyway, but yeah, I'm almost finished with this. This is so cute. Um, I did, the one that I started on earlier is, I try to put color in these, and because, you know, everybody likes color, you know, on different stuff, and I'm doing a, this is um, flannel, all the fabric that, the pacifier part is flannel, and um, I have some teal at the house that, what is it? Yeah, I got a piece of teal and I'm doing one that's gonna be yellow. And, um, but with the teal, I'm doing, what color did I do? Oh, a fuchsia, a fuchsia pink. And then for the yellow one, I'm doing um, a teal color. So yeah, there'll be, yeah, different colors. And I do a lot of black ones because, yeah, people just like black. Because black goes with everything. So, yeah, it makes sense. But um, I haven't done a solid black um, passy yet. But I'm sure that will be coming pretty soon. Because someone, someone is going to want a black pacifier. But anyway, let's see here. I'm down to the last couple of stitches. And hold on. And my husband knows that whenever I uh, go to these doctor's appointments with him, and if I've got my sewing basket with me, which I try to take it quite a bit. Uh, Hey, Jenny, everybody's doing good. We're over here. I think everybody in the house has been fighting a cold, but we're doing good. Thanks for asking. But um, anyway, um, whenever I bring my sewing basket with me, he's he's like, okay, yeah, she's working on something. <laughs> he knows me too well. We've been married for 30 years, so he knows me too well. But I have, because when I'm not really... I'm in my own zone whenever I'm sewing. So you're not going to believe how many times that I have stabbed myself thinking that I was my own pin cushion. <laughs> but yeah, that's so funny. Um, anyway, let's see here. Hold on. 
Oh my gosh, I'm having issues here. Hold on, I gotta get this needle through. I use my um, sewing machine cabinet to do that a lot. You know, when you got your needle and, you, and your fabric is so thick that it won't push through. And I use the edge of my, my um, sewing machine cabinet to do that. Well, obviously to say I don't have it here. And these, I just got these, but my, my long ones that I have at the house, I've had them for like years and years and years. I think I bought them the first year that I started making babies. Yeah. Anyway, hold on. I'm finished with this. So hold on. Give me a second and I'll show you what it looks like. I think it's so cute. I love these. All right. Here we go. All right. So this is what we got. That's what it look. Isn't that cute? Look, and it's got the little, you know, the little ring. And I just, I like it better than when I was doing just the uh, one strand of, I was, I was taking like the ribbon and it would be like this right here on the button. So it would be kind of like that. And I just, I like the look of this better. I do. And I'm sending Sunny a couple. And this, let me see. Because I've got a couple of patterns that I'm sending her also. And we do that a lot. So, anyway. But. Uh, let's see. Alright. Here's the blue one. And I've got an orange one also. I'm not going to take it out the bag. But, look. See? And I don't like this kind of button. Okay? This kind, I do. Can y'all tell the difference? I can tell the difference. But, anyway. This one is more flat. And this one is more rounded. And that's probably why I like it better. But these buttons are not cheap. Seriously. You know, you used to be able to buy a bag of buttons. You know, a whole bag. Of buttons for hardly nothing and now three buttons is like I can't remember it's like three dollars and something or something like that I could be wrong I think it's yeah three dollars but and these buttons these flat ones was actually even more expensive though this one right here was a, the, a coat button so it's the the metal you know I used to sew them on the sailor's coats and stuff. And I don't, yeah. I only used it in this because that's all I had at the time. I've run out of buttons. And I had enough to where I could make a second one, a second maroon one. I don't know, some people call this plum, but it's maroon to me. But anyway, and for some reason, I only got one button in here. Go figure. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all this. I think these is just darling. Look, and I have a whole slew of them made at the house, but I've only did the ones that I've got made up already. I've only did the white, you know, with the, the white with the with the colored, you know, edging and stuff. The ones that I've got that is on my embroidery machine right now, like I said, is the color I've got. A gold is like a gold goldish yellow. It's yellow. But it's like a gold color. And then I've got teal. And the teal isn't solid teal. It's like teal with like white um, tie-dye kind of. And it, it's pretty. But anyway. But I, I mainly use this part on the um, flannel. Because a lot of you. Um, and I don't know if any of you newborn, uh, newborners are watching. But... From what I understand, I don't know much about newborn, uh, reborns, not newborns, reborns. Okay, I don't know much about them. Okay, I don't. I know the logistics of basically how they're made, kind of. I don't know. I would flop it trying to make one. But anyway, from what I understand is, whenever you have the pacifier on the mouth, and I always wondered why. A lot of people that made the plastic pacifiers, when they would put the magnet on, they'd put a piece of cloth over top. And I always wondered why. I just, I didn't know. Well, come to find out, and I think Sonny told me, I don't know. 
I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe. But anyway, come to find out the reason why is because um, if you do just the magnet, it could chip the paint in the face. So, and that makes sense. That makes sense to me. But these is all flannel, so it's really soft anyway. And I don't suppose that there's any way of chipping the paint with these. So anyway, okay, so I'm just gonna, yeah. I've been on here for how long? Well, this doesn't tell me. Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here and I will talk to y'all soon and let me know what y'all think. All right, bye.